All right, now the machine is under power. Let's have a, a brief introduction to all the push buttons here. Here's the operator's panel. On the top left, we have an emergency stop button. Then in the middle, we have a colon switch, which normally we don't recommend it for RIM applications, but it's available. Next one is pendant connection cable, which leading to X and Z hand wheels. Now, X is direction for the tow post moving towards operator or moving away. That's X. Let's give it a try. If I push the green button, it will move much faster. That's X axis. Z axis is going either left or right. Let's give a demonstration. Z, going left or going right. That's Z axis. So this is hand wheel for X axis and Z axis. Now let's continue to see what others on the operator's panel. You have a probe which is setting in a pocket which has a green light on. Then we have a feet red control knob to control the feet red when you're cutting the rim. In the middle, we have a spindle speed control panel. And, and on the left here, it says auto or manual. In order to test the spindle motion, the sliding door must be fully closed. Let's give a, 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 a test. Closing the door. All right, you hear the click. The switch is engaged. Now we push the button from order to menu now. Spindle runs. All right, and uh, notice this is always at a forwarding, which means it runs counterclockwise.